Okay, today I want to talk about the uh, the Simpsons at, at Jemmy. Uh, I um, I worked on a lot of Simpsons items, or really all of them at Jemmy. I mean, uh, I've told you before, uh, I've mentioned before that I was responsible for licensing most of my time there. But a lot of the licenses, I had you know a lot of good people who worked for me and people I worked with that concentrated on certain things like maybe the inflatables or the life size pieces. Or maybe some of the animated scenes, but you know, so I couldn't get involved in all of the details because I was working on a lot of the other every day and a lot of other items as well. Uh, but one couple of licenses that I worked exclusively on were The Simpsons and Family Guy with Fox. I mean, I, I everything we did, I basically was I had my hands all over it because I loved those licenses. I loved working with the Fox creative team, and uh, you know, and we did a lot of items uh, in every day, mostly. Uh, but we had some Christmas items and Halloween items, especially in The Simpsons, not so much The Family Guy. And uh, I'm going to break this into two parts because uh, I'm going to play. I've got a couple songs that we did for this item. This is uh, kind of a unique item. I, I do not believe we shipped. I know we didn't ship the Christmas version. I don't think we shipped the everyday version. It's kind of started as an everyday version, as you can see. We've got, you know, here's the sculpt. And then we, you know, originally we had a rounded base. And then we... Uh, you know, we short we save some cube we we you know even out the yeah, the base we flattened it in the front you know saves it could save a lot of money you know when we were shipping uh, shipping air above it you know so uh, it's always a factor you know working on the cube and making the cube as, as small as possible so we did the uh, everyday version and at the same time we were working on a Christmas version so basically on the Christmas version what we did is we just added snow. You know, to the to it, and then we changed their outfits. You know, so I'm wearing a scarf. Barney had his uh, his jacket, and uh, you know, uh, Mo had had his hat. Uh, as far as the sounds, I mean, I would suggest that you know, I, all this stuff was recorded by Fox, mostly for our items. Sometimes they they used stuff they'd already used in the shows, but usually they had the artist Dan Castellanos and everybody go into the studio and record specifically for us. A lot of times I would give them some scripts to work from, but usually they just ignored it. I mean, they were so creative. They just did whatever they wanted to do, and usually it turned out funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like for this item, for the I'm not going to concentrate on the everyday item this time, just the Christmas. But uh, we had two different songs and a bunch of sayings. So what I'm going to do in this first one is I'm going to play one of the songs. And then I'm going to do a second part of this series. I'm going to play the other song. I'm going to play some of the sayings as well. So this is Homer, Barney, and Moe at Moe's, Moe's place. And here's, uh, here's the uh, one sound. Now I'm going to talk over it so you guys don't rip it. Because it's not... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really uh, want people taking it and using it in other stuff, so if I talk over it, you can't do that. So, again, this is the... Uh, I, I don't believe I wrote any of that song. I think they just did that. I gave them the songs I wanted to use because... Up on the house top, and the next song you hear is Jingle Bells is uh, is public domain, so we didn't have to pay another license fee for it. So I gave them the songs, I gave them the parts of the songs that we want to record, and they just kind of rolled with it. So that's the first part of the uh, the Homer Christmas item, uh, one of many that we've done. Uh, I think I'll give it. A, I'll do a second part here shortly. <laughs> 